Brian, <laughs> I think it's the time. We've been waiting for for this fight. <laughs> teach me grappling. Uh, and teach me striking. Here we, we, here we go. Uh, Majit Reyes, we're here. We're here to talk about the fight. Um, yep. What's up, guys? Um, what? Poirier, Dustin Poirier, man. Pulled it off. Yeah, pulled um, it off. Uh, there was obviously a lot of people that thought that he could do it. Um, obviously, overwhelmingly, uh, Conor McGregor was the favorite, uh -huh. but he uh, he wasn't able to get it done that night. Um, it was it was very shocking. Very shocking for a lot of people. For a you lot know, of people, it was shocking. I, I, I do have to say, before my shocking was when I went to the weigh-ins and I saw the recording, mm -hmm. and I said, "Oh my God, this is very different. McGregor is not jumping off the chair and threatening mm -hmm. him." That was my first. Alarm says like this is very unusual all of his career. He's jumping off and now he's very calm and collective Yeah, and so that 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 already sets us up the stage. Yeah, maybe he's developed his intelligence Maybe he's emotionally in control or maybe he has you know now that he's fully content with his wealth and Stabilizing his life, but at the end of the day, this is still a fight game, Brian. Yeah, uh, and, I, and I think the way he approached it Why change it now when you've been doing for such a long time the same method of approaching fight? Anyway, we'll get into the fight later, but yeah. I'm excited about looking into the fight. I, and I, we looked at the fight. Now we we're gonna, saw it live, but now we're going to now, now now we're we're watch, watch it again. With you guys. So we're going to watch it with you guys. Um, but again, we have, we have to look over there. <laughs> yeah. I it was on. only... So, yeah, I, know, I know where I'm looking. Yeah, I was looking at... The <laughs> anyway, um, we were... It was only an, like a round and a half, maybe it was, what? Yeah, it was yeah. some, somewhere midway through the second round when, yeah. when the fight was over. So... Short fight, but um, very you know what's funny is when you watch it, when you watch the fight once, it's it's one thing. When you watch it's it fight. again, it's you different. see sometimes you see because you already know what's going to happen. So then you 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 see new things, and you also remember the things you saw the first time, mm -hmm. and and sometimes things can change a little bit. But um, exactly, if you if you're looking for something and you see the second time, like what happened, then you start dissecting it differently. But when you watch it the second time, everything starts okay. You know the end result, but you, then you find out how did that manage to happen over there. And that, I think that puts a big detailed information how we retrieve information very different. Now we know what got hurt, and that's why P.C. McGregor says, I'll go back to my fights, watch it again. Yeah. At that moment, he didn't recognize what was going on. Because everything that we take it for granted, what's happening, actually everything is at that moment. Yeah. So what, what do you think, Majit, before we watch it, yeah. what do you think is your first impression after the fights. This is now, the fight was last night. Yeah. What, what do you think? That's it. What, do you, what do you think? And then, and then we're gonna find out, we're gonna ask the same question again after you watch it a second time, okay. what you think. Like, did it change at all? What do you think right now? You've only seen the fight once. Well, by watching the fight again, first of all, it made me definitely recognize that he wasn't as compelling in trying to attack the way he was before. He would charge in great, start will be great. But he didn't follow up. Like I saw that he was my less. Like in his other fights, he was super aggressive. Like yes, and when he, he went after Poirier the first time, or it, it just pick any fight. And I mean, any, he always any, gets after and people. And any time when he hit something, he had follow up right away and did not sit back and analyze. But I noticed that this time he was more passive. He would attack, but not follow up what he had just done. And I say, wow, what are you doing? And then I noticed that he would kick him. Like okay, he was too overconfident. Like he kicked him on below the kicks. Like ignoring it, not realizing, hey, come on, you're still in a fight. But he was looking at the bigger picture. He was looking at the end picture before even being in the present. I think being present is so important. Like every second, if somebody does something, a jab or a kick, you have to be in the present moment. What's happening? Don't yeah. look what you are going to do. Look what's happening at the present moment. I think that was the key factor for me that I realized he was a little lost and not being determined, not hungry and not vicious. Like he couldn't smell the blood when he hurt, when he, even when he hurt him, he was playing calm and collective. Uh, well, it didn't serve you in the past because you helped you when you, when you hurt somebody, you actually went after and finished them. But in this case, as we saw, it didn't work for him. You know, I'll say this, Majit, you're, you're, you and I actually complement each other because we're very similar, but we're also very different. different. Like. <laughs> You're you're really into the cerebral part, the mind part mm -hmm. of the fight, like what's going on in the mind. You you had called me right before the fight and you said, McGregor walking out, you said you didn't like how he looked. Mm -hmm. So I remember you saying that and I was like, whatever Majid, yeah. whatever happens in the cage is, is what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like I could care less about how somebody looks walking out personally. 
I've had fights in, in competitions before where I felt confident and I lost. I've had fights where I was not confident and I won. I've had, and the same thing, I've had confidence and I've won and I've had not confidence and I've lost. It's so true. I've yeah. had every combination. So I just look at it like, how's he gonna fight in the fight? But you specifically, your opinion, you said the way, you mentioned the weigh-ins. The weigh-ins. You mentioned the way he looked before the fight. Just, you I mentioned think. the way he was interacting the cerebral part, maybe he wasn't being so aggressive like he always does. Mm -hmm. And then that set up the stage when he was in the when he was in, when he was just before the fight, the weigh-ins. I saw how he approached, very mellow, very calm. Mm -hmm. And then during even entering the cage, this is your moment. You the, you are aggressive and crazy. And he goes out humbly, huts him up. He never touched. He's always aggressive. Like I'm gonna come after you. But even when but he, he went, did try to, no, no, I remember even, he started the fight. Yeah, he, he was trying to be aggressive. He was trying to be aggressive. Herb was doing some weird, like, I, we're he, gonna, Herb we're, didn't, we're, yeah. We're, we're going to talk about I got to see what happened again. I don't know. If he that, started the round or did he not start the and round? And then I said, why are you breaking up the tempo? Anyway, we'll go into that. But I really believe that the 90% for me is mental. What captures your mind, captures your body, which enhances the spirit, or since Benny says. But that tells everything about your, your character, what you're going to do. And when he entered the cage, and I called right away Brian. I said, this fight is not going to go my I, I know you're going to say yeah. that way. And I called him right now. Yeah. Brian, Brian says, my hey, Either way, him. you got it right on this one. So I, I was still picking McGregor. Yeah. Um, I feel like he's got better timing. I, I, it's true. He, he, has he much, did land. He just, he, didn't, he just didn't land that shot, that magic shot. That, he, he didn't did follow up. Follow up he, did, he did rock him. I remember seeing Poirier once. bouncing. Uh, more than once, yes. yeah. He, I, I saw him bouncing, which is, means he's a little and, shaken. And, and not and he's that you remind me, look at the Poirier, even though we know it's about Poirier, when he heard him, what did he do? He went after him, yeah. did not let him suck yeah. in, did not let him get the breather, and that's the key. But when you find somebody injured, they go after like McGregor. Yeah. Now McGregor was like, dude. But that, but that, but, you know, Poirier could shake off a shot from Connor. Connor could not shake off that, those leg kicks. Those, those were going to last they, they till, were, the, were till several days, several days after the fight, no matter what. There's he's no not, way to, he's not going even if he's trying to bounce, remember he's when not, he was, he was trying to, out. McGregor was trying to bounce so he could like shake it out. There's no shaking that out. But a, but a fighter can get rocked a little in a fight. I've yeah. been hit before. And you sometimes can you can recover. But a bone yeah. or a muscle spasm and blood muscles getting stiffened up because I'll talk about the detail into that. The leg that to touch contact, your leg wants to protect itself. But what mm -hmm. it does, it freezes. And when the blood rushes there, it try to protect the motion. So remember, when this Achilles tendon is another important thing. When you cut the tendon, you can't bounce. There's a muscle. We are going to talk about this in detail. I have, that's why I'm wearing the shorts today. So, so you can see the point, what he hit and what it does and what the muscle frees up. You're literally crippled. You're sitting like a, like a duck in, a, in, in the middle of nowhere. You can't move. You can't bounce. And that's what the kick does. We'll talk well, and do that. Yeah. I think we should get into the damn fight because yeah. I'm Let's I'm get getting... to the fight. All right. All right. Let's go. Into their first meeting, we shall see. So I want to see what's going on with. Oh, look, McGregor just jumped in without even starting. So wait. Well, he's going so, forward. And then McGregor. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. I got it. Okay. I want to know did Herb start the fight or not? I think Herb didn't stop the fight. He just we ran up to him. Look at that. Herb didn't start. And he just, he said, no, you just said, are you ready? He just, ready, ready. So, yeah, so McGregor tried to jump the fight, uh -huh. and Herb was like, back up. Back up. We haven't started yet. And then, well, and then Ma McGregor started uh, again. So, what Herb, actually? <laughs> Herb never took in charge of the yeah. fucking ring. You, know, you are the referee. You are in, take in charge. Put them first back hey, into the, I'm sorry. Hey, Herb's a buddy of mine. I mean, he's a buddy of mine, Hey, too. Herb. It's, it's a tough it's, job, it's a tough, we understand. And it's a pressure. You got a lot of pressure on you, but I know that you, in hindsight, you're probably thinking of it like, dude, I, he needed to just tell Connor when he told him the first time to back up, just stay the, back, till I call not you. until I start the fight. But you literally started the fight and McGregor was, already there. you went like this and McGregor went right through your arm, your hand. Anyway, that was funny. So he said, good one too. Something interesting, Brian, they're both softball. Both so they're both softball. Look at them. They go right leg forward. That's why. That's McGregor, the, yeah. 
So Dude, McGregor with the with the Mayweather. Yes. He kind of does that Lean little pull. Back. He pulls, but he pulls to the, towards the right and, that's, and throws his and left I, hand. And that's, and that's a little, little he, concerning. He killed Eddie Alvarez with that. But the problem is is a problem here because you have a southpaw in front of you and keeping your leaning uh, your head to your right, you're staying out, putting the weight on the right side. And he's what, also got a left hand. And he's a left hand, so it means you're open, you're open to your left hand open, and he's open for your left hand. So you're running into his power hand yeah. because they're both southpaw. Now he's running into power hand. Look. Co uh, 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 Poirier. Poirier is l throwing his power shot, and McGregor is leaning towards left hand. That's yeah. me. When but he, it does work. Because, it does work. But McGregor is giving him the target. Right. That's a problem because in on the past he played. Orthodox. He's always yeah. It's always southpaw so versus orthodox. Safe. Now yeah, he's going can, southpaw, yeah. southpaw. Can't fall for the of McGregor. McGregor There's first, first first leg one. Kick. But he he came out of ah, range. Ah, see that again? What I just talked about. What did you see the exchange of the punch? He threw the punch and he leaned there. He lingered there for longer duration see. of time. So watch, another one behind him. One behind, one behind. Ready? He throws a punch. See that? Yes. He leaned there, like we just talked a second ago. We just talked a second. He threw the left hand. He stayed there. Why are you staying to your right? The guy is soft ball. And Catch he him. ended up catching him, catching with, a, him with a right hand. With the yeah. right hand. Fast hands from both men. Nice feint to Poirier. Now, did you notice that like, McGregor he took the inside leg kick? Yeah. Did, but that one, that's the one that does, wait, okay, so there's oh, the takedown. Wow. That's takedown. So, check it out, classic overhand left, in this case, because he's southpaw. Southpaw. I, I, we teach this all the time, guys. It's, it's probably the most popular entry for a, a clinch or takedown or a shot. Mm -hmm. You throw the overhand, and then you carry your weight forward, your head shifts. So if you're southpaw, you're gonna throw the overhand left, and then your head's gonna go to the right, and you continue that movement, and he turns it right into like a knee mm -hmm. pick. This is, so let's see this one more time. So watch this right here. First inside, inside, yes. And then. Now, now watch this, overhand left. See, he's already taken a yeah. step with his right. There's the overhand, he ducks down. The, and he steps with, the, and he step with yes. the left foot. You step, that's what I mean. You just yeah. carry your weight with your overhand. Mm -hmm. Your head will swing to the right mm -hmm. and you just carry it forward and then he's just basically gonna knee pick. And now, yeah. boom. Basically captures the knee, yeah. knee pick. It was good for McGregor to go you see, to the Yeah, fence. you see him like love, backstroke? Yeah. yeah. To the, I was smart tapping. I like McGregor staying his legs busy. Yeah. We don't need to listen to these guys so much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, McGregor is being cautious. He put his hand under yeah. the hand of protection. He's just waiting to get back up. Yeah. Uh, you see Poirier's got his hands locked. Mm -hmm. So he wants to yank him out. But mm -hmm. it's really hard. It's very energy wasting to y try to yank a guy you know, off the fence. He's yeah. trying, he but stood up, picked him once up, McGregor comes in front of the face, good the frames, face. and and right here, he's gonna get his underhook back, turns him, great job. Here, I mean, this is where shoulders come. Yep, yeah, there's the first one. Optional. Now watch this, what, I, what, what, what McGregor does was squatted his legs down, and he squatted his legs down and he came upward. It's a squat on the shoulder upwards, he's jumping upwards. While, while Poirier was tapping like forward like a punch. Yeah. See, this can only do so much, but when you have a whole body weight coming up, you're using yeah. your leg weight, your whole body movement. This has no, not too much, emph that doesn't have yeah. too much strength. But he popped them pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, good, a, shot. It was good, it was good. But they're different shots. Exactly. They're different shoulders. One is in the front and one is lifting you up from yeah. the bottom. So he's hitting this way as this and, uh, uh, shoulder coming upwards. It's yeah. a very different thing. And everybody saw when, you know, Donald Cerrone had to eat from Connor and got his, that hurt. That was he it. got busted up. He got, and yeah. that's what, that was end up to the fight because of Yeah, the I mean, it started everything off. Yeah. So, Again, see there's another one. That was still a good shot. Yeah, yeah, it was good. See how McGregor Yeah, McGregor up. throws him different, yeah. a little bit different. Ah, uh, like nice, nice elbow. elbow. And now the switch to the fence. Simple turn. We just were going over that yeah. the other the other week, just last week. My, and now my he's guys. controlling his hand. I like McGregor controlling his hand so he can knee him, but he yeah. hit, touches him. But Poirier's, Poirier's got the underhook right yeah. here. So Poirier's actually in the control position. He's got a good underhook, but McGregor's doing it. Look, now, what's interesting, I remember seeing this last night. McGregor gets the double underhooks, but watch what Poirier. Poirier's going to bend over. Watch. Okay, watch. He's going to bend over to, to negate. Uh, McGregor from escaping. Uh -huh. So watch this. This is what I love to do. See how he's bent over? Yeah. Trying now, to get the it, now he's going for a takedown. He doesn't get it, uh -huh. but what it does, even though he's eating knees, it makes it where McGregor's underhook. See how mm -hmm. he's going mm -hmm. two on one? Mm -hmm. It's really difficult to just turn your opponent. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the best option if you want to keep a guy pinned against the fence is you got to lean over at that point. Mm -hmm. He's going for a single leg. 
But McGregor's got that two on one, little arm drag two on one. And he's scooting. Nice knee. He's scooting in the knees. He's getting he's he turns him. It's nice beautiful. Turn. Beautiful he's, clinch he's work. Opportunity to do a knee. Oh, Another nice shoulder. shoulder. I love that shoulder that he does up. You can never see it coming. So he's doing small. He like popped Oh, him. look at the left up. Yeah, this is, this is where they talk a little yeah, bit. His knee, I like the left knee that people pay attention. You uh -huh. should have done more with the bottom knee, straight to the thigh. I There's love a the good, stamp. Good foot stomp. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why he did not do more of that. And, and you know what? I, I was thinking right here when I was watching the fight, I was thinking because some people were saying like, dude, separate. You know, I'm yeah. watching the fight with a couple other people in the room. Like, why isn't he separating? And I literally said, I go, McGregor doesn't want to separate. Even though he does want to separate, separate, he doesn't want to take a step back. This is part of the mental game. He doesn't want to back up at all. Mm -hmm. If he takes a backward step, he might it'll let his opponent know that, that he doesn't. He want wants to, to avoid. Yes. And this is the the man, the, the macho. Man, macho like thing. you gotta, and you gotta let got the him, guy know. That got him into trouble because he knows he's good in striking, but he, like you said, he don't want to show that he's weak. But actually, he's exposing his weakness yeah. at the same time. Yeah, but. But I would say it actually ends up working. He eventually gets Poirier to back up. Back, no, it's true. I agree with that. But what it actually does to him at the same time, you should give him an opportunity to do your best right now. He's, giving, he's playing his game in some ways. Mm -hmm. He's wrestling with him. Yeah. Instead of you are, you are known for striking. Right. Why don't you, you only use this method when you have no other option? He right. had an option to step away at this time. Yeah, he had an option. He could have backed up. But that was, but, I, I think that but, was too much macho. But stuff, I was, I, okay, fair. But I was actually impressed that he eventually, in this clinch, I, I don't know how long they're going to sit here on the fence right now. I just remember it was at this moment in the fight when I was like, McGregor should back up. And I was like, but he doesn't Do want to, to because he wants to let Poirier know that he's I'm gonna, not backing up. Yeah. You're going to back up for me. And then Poirier ends up backing, backing up. up. It worked so, out very well. What, like, I don't remember how long they're going to be here, but that's not the too moment. Long. Nice open and slap. Yeah, I like the open and him. slap instead of punching. Slap holds with the he, palm like, to the like face. Like he's showing them, like, I'm, the, I'm controlling the clinch against you. Yeah. Even though he has a very good overhand control. Oh, nice nice elbow. elbow. See that really? elbow? That elbow yeah. then back point, but then yeah. he's not following up. That's the thing. I don't, you just hit him. You should not... Yeah, he should, he should be going. He should forward. be going. This is McGregor. Nice, time. nice, a nice one too, but he leans too much on his right. I'm scared of that. Nice jab. Nice leaning. McGregor is usually attacking at this time, but this time, nice jab. Nice one too. That's it, a, that's, that was that the was, one that hurt him. That hurt him. You can that see it's bouncing. Let's head. see this again. Hold up. So hold you up. can see it had bouncing up with the uppercut. Yeah. He did a jab and he did a slight uppercut with that hand. You see it but, again. So, but that's part of McGregor's strategy. I know you were saying he's leaning to his right, but that's actually what got him that shot too. It's true, but sometimes he stays there for too long. It's a risk. That's a good jab. See right here? See that? He got hit also. That's where he leaned away. Yeah. Now, what do you think of that? Because what I see in Poirier, when I see Poirier bouncing like that, that tells me that he's shaking those he's sh cobwebs yeah, exactly. a little bit. That's, that's, that's a great experience of good fighters who get hit. And they know to don't not to make look the other person feel like, hey, you know what? I'm 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 not hurt. I gotta bounce. So when you start bouncing, you have playing poker now. It's called poker face. But if you stand there, start, just bounce. Like that guy does not know. Yeah. As long as you bouncing, the guy feels oh he's feeling good. So that's why I would say I would think I said I don't know why McGregor does not. Do you not, think he was hurt? I think know, it was a little I, hurt. When I saw the combination, one and uppercut to the, yes, I said he was, when he started bouncing. The, the look on his face, his eyes kind of Every lit up. striker knows when somebody yeah. starts bouncing, uh, buddy, something's not right. He's yeah. bouncing. Get on it yeah. right now. That was, that was cool. I, I mean, like, I, I, was, I was, this was an exciting part of the fight. Yeah, that was really exciting. See, now McGregor should have kept on going forward. Yeah. I don't know why, why you stopped it. See, now he's, he's throwing wild punches now. He's trying to save himself. See, you're talking about uh, Poirier? Or Poirier, talking, Poirier yeah. is now started throwing wild punches because he's hurt. Yeah. So when the only time you throw wild punches, guys, just remember that when somebody's hurt, if someone throws wild punches, that means he's hurt. He's trying to like, keep the guy away from himself. And that takes more energy just to get out. When you see in the senses, the guy will throw straight or sharp punches, but not wild when he's in hurt. And you can see Poirier missing the shot and McGregor stepping to him. But McGregor yeah. should be at least, I, when somebody misses a shot this big, they are now desperate position. They're hurt yeah. in some ways. Yeah. Another good little shot to the body. Another good jab. Good shot. Yeah, McGregor's got control of the fight at this point, but we haven't seen 
I'm sorry, did I just miss something? What was that, Majid? I'm sorry about that. What, what did, did, did Poirier just land one of the kicks? Let me see this. He has this. a jab on the face and Hold jab up. to the body. The camera changed. I didn't see what. Yeah. Uh, leg kick. So he That's, landed the first one. He landed the first leg kick. Now, remember, yeah. guys, McGregor has his right leg forward and Poirier has his left leg back. That means his dominant leg can attack his front leg. And now, when he kicks the leg, it's not kicking, it's, and he's not aiming for the thigh. He's aiming for the calf. And now, remember, the calf is, it starts from here. It's from, here's the calf, from here to here. This is the sense, I if I can watch it properly. If you watch this area, so this is the sensitive area. So if you look, I'm going to get on the camera so you can see it. This is the sensitive area. So when he's standing wow. in front, like, if I see my shin like this, he didn't block with the shin. He blocked with the muscle part. This is the sensor part. Now, this is the part area. If you keep on getting hit here, you can't bounce anymore. See, this is my calf. And underneath the calf, I know I don't have too much big calves anyway. So underneath the calf, there's a nerve here. And when you start aiming for this next to the shin, this area next to the shin, my shin is here, next to the shin area. If you get hit here several times, one or two shots, you can't bounce anymore. The body goes to start to protect you. You can wow. take the first kick. You can take the, we worked on my videos, if you watch my early sweep videos, but if you hit the thigh kick here, not on top of the calf, just below the calf, just a little bit, slightly four inches behind the knee. Here, here it is, here's my knee, four inches here, on this area and this area. Anywhere from here to here, you touch it, it becomes extremely, extremely sensitive, and your body starts um, jamming up. There's a fight before that, the main guy who just recently showed up, and he got a leg kick, you see his internal bleeding. It was um, Sanchez. You can see Sanchez's mm. legs bruised up with Sanchez that. is the guy they say looks like me. Yeah. Except I don't have a mullet. Right? Yeah, exactly. So he had a calf, <laughs> he had a whole calf blood clot. You can see the blood bleeding into his internal bleeding. Anyway, so this leg is not underestimated because the weakest part of your leg, it hurts and stops you paralyzing. It takes your mobility away from yourself. And it's very important to realize mobility is everything in fighting. Yeah. Well, the, I, at this point in the fight, I didn't see it yet. I mean, I'm, I might have saw the kick, but we don't see any visible uh, Connor yes. like, damage. Like, he's not, like, reacting yet. But and, I, I do mean, remember it's not going to be long before we're going to see one yeah. where we go, ooh, yeah. that, that doesn't mm -hmm. look good. So that's good exchange. So There's a little goes. counter. Yeah. Hit him with the right. That's yet another, another one. one. So he got he another tried to one. check he it, did, but he did was, not. Do you think that one? Did he, he check that check, one at all? But no, he, he went forward. But remember, he's looping the leg around. Him. He's looping around a circle. I mean, he's not in straight. He's looping it. So he, even when he leg check, the he's foot not, wraps around. Yeah, he did not turn his foot. He okay. He did not turn his foot outside. I'm gonna. Yeah. He did not turn it towards the shin. You have to turn towards the shin. But he had a halfway up the end of cutting the meat. You have to hit with the long leg check with the bone, not with the meat. He did not turn as much. You, you have to rotate your foot outward? You have, to, you have to turn your knee outward so the shin will turn towards the shin. Shin touches shin. If the shin doesn't touch shin, that means now it's touching your meat, which is a soft, tender spot. And that's the what right about point. What about getting out of the way? Can he what, get out of the way of that? Well, the way, if you see McGregor's commitment of the full... He knee, leans on that front foot. He opened up his leg yeah. way too much. The only way he can do is to turn the knee as fast as possible. You know what? It, the, you know, I didn't say this before we started, but this is, I'm going to say it right now, Majid. I, I told you this last night, right after the fight. I feel like McGregor came to box and Poirier came to do MMA. You know what? You said right on the money, Brian, because you come in a sport with half the tool gone away from your back yeah. and you, you're playing the wrong so, game. So I guess you mentioned it already. And now this is me putting it together. I don't have your kind of stand-up knowledge, but I'm putting this together. Uh, Connor likes to lean on his right foot can because he likes to lean and shift his head towards the right, right because he can fade. He can hit that little Mayweather pull, uh -huh. throw his left hand, throw that right uppercut. The, the reason he does it, he wants to throw his dominant left hand. But yes. in this case, he misunderstood the guy pointed in front of him is a left hand too. And so he's that, also throwing legs, and which throwing, means he can, he use, can a use a further distance. distance. And but, land it. But what also he commit, when he committed too much weight on the front leg, that means he cannot pick up his yeah, leg. Yeah, he can't pick it up. He can't defend he's a, it. He's a boxer fighting, fighting a, kickboxer a kickboxer or an MMA fighter. It's just a matter of time that you're going to lose your foundation away this from is, you. So it's a, this is the typical thing. If a boxer would ever fight a kickboxer, this is the only thing I would definitely see, do. See, we're not even done with the fight. Mm -hmm. And I already, I knew it 
when we started, I said, I'm gonna, we're gonna change our views. I, I'm not saying I was gonna like flip flop on what I thought, but what I'm saying is I've already learned something. Yeah, like you I, mentioning uh, him leaning me watching, on the right, and, and then I'm like- watching the second time, he's relying so much because now he, you see me, he's getting hurt. And so now he's relying so much on his left hand, so he's starting to lean. So he can th he's leaning on his right to lean. And when he lean on your, oh, full of your weight is yeah. committed. Now, guys, it's not a kickboxing style. Exactly. He's doing, he's boxing. Exactly, he's boxing. So he, dif he forgot that the other guy is still attacking his front leg. And that takes all of his foundation away from his leg. All right, let's get back. There it is oh, again, see, same lean, he got counter with the right and, hand. Yeah, because he stayed yeah. there for too long. Oh, see? Okay, so that was the one that we just I paused I think he on. got hurt, yeah. yeah. And see, that's why McGregor, oh, another one, is that, was, that was a thigh kick. Uh, mm -hmm. But McGregor is now, see, oh, see it took another, that was another kick. That's yeah, lumped that's up. when we started I to realize think, see, it's lipping. lumped up. Yeah, you can see, see the discoloration. Yeah, and you see now he's throwing the left hand, but he's stepping back. Oh, instead of going forward, he's stepping back. He, he's getting hurt. He did a wheel kick, so he said, I should yeah. kick more. That's a good thing, but that's he stops, goes back into boxing. Yeah. And Why he's leaning not on that right leg. Yeah. Again, see with the And that right leg can't get out of the way. How do you know that he's leaning on the right when you see the head leaning towards the right? That's yeah. the key. When you yeah, know there's no way to not put weight on it. Look at it again, he did it again. He leaned on his right again. Again, he takes another kick. For for the he's still punching. And the way Poirier did a punch and a kick. You know, as we go into the second round in between rounds one and two. Thinking ahead, when McGregor ends up reviewing the film, he's a smart guy. Dude, McGregor's a smart fighter. They're, and his coaches are smart coaches. They're gonna go over this and they're gonna realize it. Shit. We, we were trying to box and leaning on that right leg, leg is what killed, killed us. us. And he didn't adjust. He said that in his post-fight uh, interview. I did listen to that. Mm -hmm. You know, right after the fight, he talked about ring rest. I don't, my personal opinion is that could play a role, but it, it's, it's more that what he said in, in the post-fight conference, he said, I did not adjust. I did not change the way I need to fight. That's what it's all about. That, Fighting's about reacting. Guys, this is such an important fact. You have to remember that when you, when you are out of fight for a long time, you don't fight for too long, you think that something that works for you all the time, you take the same formula, you use it, and you think, yeah. this is the way it worked for me. You have to evolve. If you, you have don't, to change. If you don't adjust according yeah. to your opponent in front of me, you're going to pay a price. Anyway, the second Because they're going to get ready. They're yeah. going to get ready for him. Exactly. The second round starts. So the calf kicks, I heard Mike Brown was the one calling for him. Yeah. I, I see, oh, oh, kick, my oh see, he kicked him. So now you can see he's tumbled on it. Yeah. And now he's going forward. He's visibly hurt, but now he's, he's trying to pay him back. And, that is, and again, he's attacking. Don't step back if you put him in the hurt. Is it on the thigh kick? This was the thigh one, so because you don't want to run away. You know, you have eyes, Manja. Mm -hmm. I don't have eyes, like you do. I so you attacked see it, him right away. You see away. it better than me. So you attacked him right away. So now watch this. He aims for the thigh. See, just yeah. above the knee. It's above the knee and just below the. It's almost a. It's, see, yeah, it's almost it was. A it low, was. It's a low thigh kick. That means just, just close to the knee. So this is part above mm -hmm. the knee. So if I'm on the thigh kick, say, so it's it's uh, it's. He hits him right in the pocket, yeah. just above the knee, so you don't hurt your leg. If you hit on the knee, you're gonna hurt your leg. But if you hit here, it's it's a perfect spot. Yeah. So now but he's taken now away. McGregor's obviously hurt. The and calf he, is yeah. hurt. And McGregor is not and following up because if you hurt, you should when you punch, you should keep on falling. But do you see how he's playing passive now? And, 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 and I paused it right here on this position. He's leaning on that right leg. Yeah. All the weight what, is there. Yeah. What what would you here, let's watch the rest of it. It's already almost over, I think. And so now he's walking back. Instead of skipping back, he's walking back. You know that he lost. Now that is first. a nice low kick that by Connor. That was one low kick after, after high kick after three rounds. That's his foot. Nah, that is another another yeah. low kick. Was that that it's, looked it's to the calf? Like was it to the calf? No, the first one was the first one. Was what about calf. this one right here? Yeah, uh, another yeah. calf. Another just below the below knee. Below the knee. Just below the knee. Another nerve point. Uh, that was another low calf. And, you know, okay, so this is where Connor that, starts to grab it. Yes. He, so here is the first adjustment. He's, get, was, he's been kicked at least four or five times. More than that. And now, and now he he's going to adjust. But, it's but his adjustment is grab the leg. He doesn't want it to hit him anymore, so grab the leg. But at this case, it's a checker move because now... You give me a kick, I'm gonna grab you. But at the end of the day, you're losing it because you already have more damage than you grabbing the leg. And so you still, you give me a tell that I'm gonna grab your leg, but you never took him down even once, twice, nothing. So, 
Okay, I was just going to say it earlier. Yeah. What should he have done to make an adjustment striking-wise? Well, let's say he can't leg check it and he grabbed the leg. When he grabbed the leg, there's a price that he has to pay. He would should not let him pay the price. Either he would have kicked his face or punched his face or, or made him something. You mean like catch, catch the leg and then come yes. in with the left? at least come back with the left or ke- dra- turn the leg and chop the other leg right. off. Like you grab the leg and chop and, the other leg. Thai guys it. do. Or run with the knee. Or grab the leg and pull him for the punch. He yeah. did not do any or one of them. If, if it was me, I would grab the leg and, and go around. for a takedown. takedown. I would try to take yeah, the guy but down. There was not even takedown or a strike. He did anything that do damage to make him... Uh, uncomfortable, like this is, this is not, do not do it again, or we're going to pay a price. But you know what? He kept on doing it again because there was no threat. He picked up the leg and did what? Nothing. Yeah. Check it out. Let's see. He's starting to, the, the, the tide has turned. So now look, McGregor is not attacking. That's the sad. Look, now Poirier is attacking. See this? I don't understand. McGregor, you're supposed to go forward now. Like he's staying there like a punching bag. Oh. He's trying to come now, back now, with, that was he just landed. Punch. So he landed the left hand. It's a How? How hurt? Poirier didn't look right right there. Let's I mean, back. I don't know everything, but Poirier looked like he got fucked up right there. Watch this. He look at this counter left. No, it's a four. He just yeah, I did, think it's a four. That, I think I, th- I thought. Do you think he step, lost his balance, or do you think he? Got, I was on top of the forehead, but it was the way top. He, yeah. yeah, but the angle that we can't see the camera properly because we yeah. didn't see the fast. But it could be his forehead, or it could be off balance. From that angle. Even yeah. though he might have hit him up here, I've seen guys get knocked out. Well, get, the hit in the head. You, you get, I mean, Scott is the hardest part. It's, but it's hard, but sometimes it hits right. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe he got in the forehead. I, you or, don't know. Yeah, or he just we lost his see. balance. I don't yeah. know. But it could be. He, he looked like a, he stumbled. Uh, he did somewhat. I could see that. Yeah. You can't throw blind. See, oh, another, another leg one. kick. See that? See that now? And now, he's, and he's still look at, not. Look at McGregor's position. He's leaning on that right Again, leg. He's leaning on the leg. He's leaning. Look at, look at, he crouches. And now waits. Oh, full commitment done there. Full shot. Yeah, people can see He's not him. moving his feet. Uh, yeah, he's not coming. He can't even move back. He yeah, but now he can't, back. right? Because yeah. he's so banged he's so up now. He's so banged up. He wants to go forward. Now he comes forward. What do you do? One punch? Two punch? What about combination like you always do? He's walking. Yeah. Look, he's limping already. He can't bounce. You can see the color of the leg. He's trying want. to balance. He wants yeah. to get some wants to, yeah, feel wants to, back. Wants to, now look, he can't commit. He can't. Oh, another one. See, he paid. No, what's the price? What is the price here? No price. There is no price he paid for this. He picked up the leg. He's going to kick you in. That gives him confidence. Another one. What's the price for that? Nothing. So he wasted his kick, lost the opportunity, and then McGregor wants to come back. McGregor. You hit but Maja, once, Maja, you hit Maja, Maja, calm down, dude. I'm calm down. I love this guy. Ma- but I listen, Maja, Maja gets excited, guys. He wants to. He's always in the game. He's like he's fighting himself. Ma- Maja, we get- remember these are the we, these, are, these are like world championship fighters. Um, they're doing the best they can. I know. I I and I. And I you know it's harder when you're in there. You know what? It's very hard. But you know what saddens me up the most when you go back in the corner, and your cornerman says, "Hey, you're doing good. Just get out of the way." Um, well, he can't get out of the way. Can you give him some other options to give him? Hey, McGregor, it's time for right. you, before, you. You should be kicking, McGregor. You should, you, you're only playing hand game. McGregor, step back or step in. McGregor, get your movement. Make, if you don't want to get out of the way, just step to your right or step angrily. Just remember yeah, but that he, he's in that position. I, I hear you, Majid, but, but let's, I'm, I'm going to... Listen, if we're real about it, they have... McGregor's a fighter. He, you can't just transform all the time, like immediately. It, to That's make true. an adjustment in a fight, mid fight, is very hard when all of your training is leaning on that right leg. See, that, throwing, that, that, that's, so, that's a very good so, point, Brian. You said. All of your training is leaning right. on the right. So that means in his training camp, apparently he's taken for granted. So, so you're right that he needs to do something different. But, but let's say that we're coaching him. If what I, what I, can we actually give a guy like Connor? If we were in the shoes of the coaching staff, okay. what can they actually tell would, him to change the way he's that, fighting? That would be one thing very simple. I said, McGregor, listen, he's going for your front leg. So every time he goes for a leg kick, pick up your front leg and do a ball kick. Because I know there's no Yeah, power. he does have ball kicks. Yeah, and he never used his he front He didn't leg. use it in this fight. And his front ball kick should have been that. Because when you go for a leg kick, he should have done a ball kick. with a perfect opportunity to land him up. Or use your front side kick, which you're known for do that. You never use yeah. your front ball kick. You never use your front side kick. You never even stepped in when he was kicking. You stood there and took for boxing. McGregor, we are a striker. Step even Wait, when he up, kicks hold up, hold up, hold up. 
You know what this thing, what we're doing right now, Majit? All we're doing right now, let's be honest. We're, we're, we're trying to coach McGregor. <laughs> I'm so, sorry, so, McGregor. So, no, 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 I'm no. really no, sorry. No, no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Majit. So what I'm saying is, let, let's think about Poirier for no, a second. You know, I give think credit about to no, Poirier. No, no, Poirier, Poirier is kicking his ass right now. Poirier, look, it's so simple. I, why I tell you Poirier is taking advantage? Because if somebody hits you, if, if I hit somebody, I'm going to keep on doing all day because there's no consequences. The moment uh -huh. I hit him, he hits me back. Okay, now, now I have to think. <laughs> you see me, I, I'm not doing back again. I'm not, but if I kept on hitting all night, all night, and then after 10, 10 of these, and he hits me one time, yeah. hit me one time after do 10, man, I don't give a fuck, I hit 10 times. Yeah. So I know the, the, the consequences that I paid back was very little. So I, I have very, very little to pay consequences. Poirier kept on doing what a common sense human would do or kid would do. A pat, approach, keep on working. Even he kept on working. That's the closest thing to him to a target. You know, he can't hit his head. So the leg was leaning out. He can't pick up his leg. And that's what he did. So I give credit to Poirier. I give, I'm really sad that McGregor was not in his sharp mind to be a hunter like he smelled the blood. He would chase him down. And that is a problem. When I heard, when even when McGregor hit him, he's standing there and looking what he's doing. McGregor, you're not a beginner. You've done this thousand times. Hit him, go chase him like you did in your, all of your career fight. When you hit somebody, you would chase him down. Why do you change now? Because the only reason I can tell you, you're not in a state of mind. You're not hungry again. Everything's fulfilled. Your plate is full. You have nothing to worry about. Your life is secured. And so now, who the fuck, if I win the fight, I don't win the fight, I have a good training cap, I'm fine with this, I'm not fine with this, I go in the fight, I'll be nice to people. When you, people are hungry, they don't talk like that. When people are hungry, the parents come and say, I'm going to fuck you, I'm going to take the shit out of your face. And that's what <laughs> You sound say. like Mike Tyson right I mean, now. I'm like, you're going to you, eat their children. I'm going to eat your children. <laughs> but that's what happens when you're hungry. But look, McGregor's last... last I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> yeah, McGregor's last fight was the most humblest, kindest, oh my God, how soft he is. Why? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say, that if you were hungry, the way he walked in the cage, you, he wasn't there to fight. He I, was there to I a sparring think, session. I don't know. I don't agree. I think it's just bad strategy. Yeah. Let's, let's watch. Let's, I just think okay. he just, you know what? I'm into mental Some, you things. Lose, I know, but you lose fights sometimes. Yeah, Martin. we do. But the you, way, even when you lose a fight, dude, if I'm losing, I'm going to take you with me as much as I can. I don't drive by. Yeah. I drive in, guys. <laughs> if I'm, if I'm going to, if I'm going to, if I'm getting, if I'm losing the match, I will make sure that I do best possible way that I get the best out of it, the guy in front of me. Yeah. Well, let, let's, 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 we, we're, let's finish the fight <laughs> okay. and then we'll argue some more. Uh, see, now he's landing yeah. punches because he's worried about his leg kick so much that he doesn't care about his punches anymore. McGregor hit him again. And Corey, oh, here's a leg kick again. Look, his leg is complete. Another calf kick. Oh, my God. Another punch. Now he's so scared that he's not paying attention to the punches. Let, let, let's watch. I'm sorry. Let's watch. Calm down. Calm down. Inside. McConnor's falling down with commitment. Another commitment falling down. That means he's putting the weight, not going down. And there was a one, good left two. hand. Yeah, no follow up. Nice feint. Nice leg kick. Corners now. Connor can't walk. Oh, he's putting. The yeah, down. He's, he's he's struggling. Oh, he's got hit the left hand. He got hit. See, Perrier did not stop. See, when he hurt him, see, he doesn't let him breathe. Overhand right, overhand left. And he can't get off the fence. He's got, he's got his hands are down. His hands. Here comes a straight right hand. He's done. His straight right hand is done. To hurt him when he's standing off balance, he did not retire. See. This is the difference what he, I'm saying. When you see somebody hurt, he threw about five, six, seven punches till the one punch landed. When somebody's falling down, it will not take one chop. You don't cut the tree with one, with one chop. You cut the tree with chops and chops and chops and chops. So when you hit with the one, when you even hurt him, Poirier did not stop. Mm -hmm. McGregor kept yeah, on but, stopping in every right. single round. Poirier Ma took McGregor, again, I'm going to say it again. He, McGregor's boxing, and he didn't fight MMA like he needs to clinch it's an he MMA needs, match. He, he's pinned against the fence if he can't circle out he doesn't have good footwork uh, because his legs so damaged then you got to move forward and clinch you have to at least attempt attempt he, he otherwise just standing there trying to box and counter strike but like I you know, say like I say if you don't but that's the way it went yeah like you says if you don't modify you're gonna, you're gonna delete it you're gonna get obsolete guys the trick of this sport is even when you train the best you should be training you should have versatility, like how do you train? It's important to, to know that you have to adjust. You should have tools to adjust in the middle of the fight. And 
Conor McGregor did not adjust, and this was the end of his. Uh, and you could see yeah. he was not prepared mentally to be adjusted. He says, "I'm good. Whatever works for me for all these years." But even he didn't even apply that. He just came with cold confidence that I'm going to get this fight, and that was it. And the small step. Remember, guys. You know, the, the termites are very small. You know, I always say termites are very small, but they can take the whole, break the whole log of a tree if you keep on chopping them down. Yeah. Anyway. That's a, that's a nice little uh, Twist analogy yeah. with, the, with the termites. I like that. It's my, but, one, of my, uh, one of my so, podcasts. <laughs> so, so, Poirier, amazing. I mean, like, the game plan was obviously amazing. The, to throw the calf kicks, to try to enter with a takedown, to change it up, to mix it up was yeah. great. Mm -hmm. He was getting caught with a lot of left hands from McGregor, Big and he got hit with a right as yeah. well, that uppercut. Yes. But I think the story for me, I just, I just see it a little more clear than I saw before. I see that McGregor didn't clinch when he needed to to save his own skin, and I think that he was boxing. He wasn't. He was. He didn't change. He didn't evolve. He didn't yeah. upgrade his yeah. system, mm -hmm. and um, you know, like you always say, he became obsolete in that mm -hmm. fight because. Mm -hmm. He, he expected to have better time, which he did. He had better timing plenty of times. Yeah. He landed the left hand. It just wasn't enough to put Poirier away. And yeah. like it was the first time they fought. Exactly. And then in the set of mind to be hungry, being in this position that I will go chase him down, there was nothing in the beginning. He just ran up to him, but did not follow up his intentions. Guys, intentions is everything. That's what I say. When he entered the ring, I saw his state of mind. He was just there filling up the black. While Poirier, as you watch after post-fight, that how he was frustrated being in the room for so many weeks inside, is is built up so yeah, much. Yeah, he said rage. he was like he was ready to jump off the balcony. Because he said. That, that's like a prison workout. You stay in your mind, been isolated by yourself, and have so much yeah. aggression inside I, of you. You know, I haven't. I've been. You know, last Vince fought back in the summer, and and we were in the bubble, but in Vegas. I know that over there it's probably even worse. Worse because but, you're, you're in a different country. But we were yeah, but we were in Vegas inside that bubble and. It, it really kind of sucked. Sucks. We just, we just had our, our room, and then we had our little workout room, and you that's know, it. And I talk about this in one of my episodes and app podcast, too, that when you become comfortable, everything becomes uncomfortable. McGregor made his life so comfortable, now his fight has become uncomfortable. Before, he made everything uncomfortable. He struggled, trained, hard work, training after training. He chased, he risked. And then he's he comfortable the in the fight. He's comfortable with the fight. But now he changed the tables. He made comfortable life and not comfortable training. He mm. made comfortable training and not uncomfortable. Okay. Well, I still <laughs> think, I, I love, I love, you know, it's very poetic what <laughs> you just said. But I think that McGregor trained hard. I think he really wanted it. I just think he had a poor strategy. In the, in, in, I think it's pretty obvious he had a poor strategy. And what I would like to ask now to you, Majit, from the striking point of view, definitely, do you think if they fight again, let's say they got six months to prepare, mm -hmm. um, Connor's not going to have, let's just assume he's not got any like CTE issues, mm -hmm. he, his calf is fully healed. Mm -hmm. What would, can he make the adjustments? Would the fight change, or do you think that Poirier would still be the winner? Well, of course, if, if McGregor isolates himself and put in hunger again, that this is everything for him, he has all the tools, he has all the gifts. He has, he only, in this, if you notice one thing, in this fight, McGregor only used one tool, eliminating his four or five other instruments, yeah, which just, was, just he has hands. hands. What about your leg kicks? What about your knees? Yeah. What about your elbows? What he, about the how, about, how about wrestling? How about how, wrestling? He, you know, he, he lose, he everybody did. talks shit on Connor like he sucks at wrestling. He's, He's actually pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. 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 It's just they, they'll put him up against the situations where he goes with Habib. And, That's of course, Habib, thing. he's like the best and in the what, weight class history. What did Habib do? He took him into his game. That's yeah. what people don't understand. McGregor, you are good in your game. Put him, guy, but, in your game and stay yeah. in your best. Well, what I'm trying to say is I believe that McGregor is actually pretty decent on the ground. I think he's, he's, yeah. he's I've seen him. I mean, he swept Nate Diaz wow. with an X-guard sweep. Yeah, I saw that. Um, you know, he, he has pretty good takedown defense. He, yeah. I'm sure he's got takedowns too, yeah. as does Poirier. Yeah. But, but, you know, I would love to see an exchange you know, on the ground a little bit more. But, we didn't really get to but, see much because they just went up against the fence. But I want to say something because this is where I come in because when I see the face and if you look at McGregor's face and if you see the post fight, what he says, he says, you know, I'm just tired. Like he's tired. What he means by tired, 
you know, playing this character constantly, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, it drains you out after a while. Aggression in a human being tames up and it takes a long time. After a while, you get tired. And you saw him this time in the press conference, he's very calm, relaxed. I thought, I thought that's and, just maturity. And, I think he's yeah, just more mature. It's, it's true. But I think he had a great pro... The, the post-conference after the fight, in my opinion, was just McGregor is showing that he's a, 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 a man now. Before what? he was a young kid who talked a lot of shit, and now he's a humble warrior. It's true, but but if he said, I don't know if I'm gonna come back, I'm not gonna come back, he, said, he keeps on saying that. I, no, I think he says he's coming back. I just think that um, he just realizes that you can't make any decisions right after a fight. Exactly. I think he just needs to go back. And reestablish and, it. Yeah. And, but the guys, my, for, to bring this up to my, pers my perspective of life, because I understand the fighting mentality, when you do for too long, it drains you out for a certain time. Especially yeah, with, that, with that high intensity. Like Brian know how intense he was in grappling jujitsu. After a while, there's a yeah. life no, that does drop. Yeah. There's, there's the ability to say, you know what, I'm, I'm a little tired now. I, I, knew, I knew the moment. Yeah. yeah. I see, always tell people, that? I go, I knew exactly. And the same moment with me, I know there's a moment I can, you know, mm, it's I, time to step Maji, up. you still don't listen. Know, you, you, you're true. older than me, and you tell me, like, you... you I'm like, no, Maja, we're too old for this shit. And I said, no, I can, I can pull this off. I can pull this off. No, it's we're the, not pulling it off. I'm not we're pulling it off. Thank God he keep, if, he, if he's not keep me alive, I would be fine. right You can still now. be a good coach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate that part of being coach. I'd rather be a fighter. I'd rather be in the ring to have the team. But, you know, I, now I live my fight through you guys. And I want there everybody you. to experience all these moments. And I know it's very important to know when you are ready and when you are done. A good fighter knows when to step back. So Brian, if I call I, this, uh, if you would call this off, and I think that this shows us that mental aspect of how you come in the ring, and how you manage to adjust and use your 100% of your tools. If you're a wrestler, to all of them. If you're a striker, use your striking skills. And mm -hmm. I'm so sad McGregor came as a handicap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looked, and it, did anything... Did anything change for you? Like after watching it the second time? I told you I was gonna course, ask you yeah, that. I, I really would say like, McGregor was literally crippled. Like he did not use his skills or his tools. And it's sad to see that I thought McGregor would pull something better. We, we, you think we could see a lot better fight if he goes back and works more on his kickboxing? Oh, I think he will. T if he goes back and brings himself back, there's no way. Because Corporea got hurt really bad. He could have fi he could have finished yeah. the fight right there and then. Even though he has less tools, he still hurt him. See, again, like you picked out the mental side. I pick out the. I think the strategy. I think McGregor goes back. Works on his strategy. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see a much better fight. I'm not saying McGregor's going to win for sure. Although I did pick McGregor. I think yeah. he's overall yeah. a... I think he is a better fighter if he uses his tools. But if, like you said, handicapped. If you come in handicapped and you don't use all your tools, well then you're, you're, you, you, you aren't, you you, aren't no matter how the best good McGregor. You are. No yeah. matter how good you are, yeah. you will never become... If, if, if Floyd Mayweather was fighting Poirier, and, and, he would have got fucked up. Because yeah, he would have got calf kicked. Not only that, if yeah. Mayweather would just just stuck, he's, he's not using a, a dominant hand, which is left hand, which is like taking away the power. If he, if you take Mag Mayweather out of his game, you make him handicapped, and he can't yeah. punch anymore. You, 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 what are you gonna do? Yeah, there's nothing you do about it. Or like I said, just make him fight MMA, and then he can't use. He, can't do he doesn't know how to do the kicks, so he would be Over. severely handicapped. Yeah. So, so I think we should call it up. I think these people yeah. are get bored with this, our conversation. I don't know. I, I hope they enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it, guys. Uh, it's insightful. As very few people we, know about this, I think. You know, we don't, we don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. We, I we, know a little we're, bit. We're very passionate uh, about, about this stuff. Uh, obviously, we're armchair quarterbacking. So respect to the fighters. The fighters went out and did the best they could. And, they're good And fighters. you know what? They're, they're both amazing fighters. Great and fighters. I, I, I think that finishing up, I guess... People wanted a, a, I think people wanted a more, like a longer, more competitive fight. And at least somewhat McGregor is showing they, his skills. They were, they were shocked that it ended so quickly. And they were like, but McGregor, he went the distance with Nate Diaz and he took all this punishment. And now it looks like he just took a couple shots and he just gave up. I yeah. literally, I saw people actually think the fight was fake. Oh my God. That's because they don't you know, understand what it's would, like to get they, kicked. If they ever would get kicked one time, you know my last fight you saw when I got kicked with the leg kick, the guy broke my leg in the first round. And yeah. he kicked my, it was an accident. And you and made I, it through and the I, fight, and but I, you, and were, I, you were I hurt. I couldn't use my tools, even though I spunded my wheel kick, and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do my trick of how to set him up. But people don't realize that was only one kick. McGregor was getting kicked 
for the first round and second round. And it's people And this is Dustin Poirier kicking. Yeah, and you don't realize this is a very hard thing. If somebody would take a baseball bat, swing on your calf one time and see how that feels, and then you can call me up and say, you know what, I can take the fight. So if yeah. it does, just call me up and yeah, kick the, it for you. you. Guys, the fight wasn't fake. It wasn't fixed. It wasn't a work. Uh, McGregor just tried the best he could. He came to box, and Poirier came to do MMA, and he landed some awesome calf kicks, as everybody saw. Wrong strategy. And, and guys, wrong time. it should wake all of you guys up. It only takes a, maybe a couple. It could take one, two, one. three, four, five. Yeah. You're, 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 you're barely moving. And then yeah. now, guess what? The shots are going to get through because yeah. you can't move your feet. If you can't move your feet, how do you evade the shots? If you can't evade the shots, they're going to pile up. When they yep. see you weak and you're a, you're a wounded gazelle, guess what? The lion's coming to get you. That's right. So, Our next video, I'm going right. to show them how to do the calf kicks. When you get a all right, we're going to do that. Promise me. We got this. All right. Thank you guys so Thank much. Guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Teach Me Grappling. Click that link down below at Patreon, PayPal. Contribute to this channel. We'll be back for more next time with more great stuff. We're out. Thank you.